Hi, this is Rajiv Parikh, and this is the Marketing Best of the Week. Instagram's new feature lets brands tag consumers in their photo stream. Marketing in 2013, ads are only the beginning, and in our segment, Cool Ideas of the Week, insights and best practices on social media marketing, B2B marketing, mobile marketing, and SEO. Instagram's new feature lets brands tag consumers in their photo stream. This is by Cotton Daylo in AdAge. With over 100 million monthly active users and growing, as well as the Facebook acquisition, the Instagram social network is intriguing to many marketers. I personally have noticed teens between 13 and 17 playing with it far more than they would with Facebook. Now, the photo sharing social network adds a new photo tagging capability, and marketers should take notice. Like Facebook, Instagram users can link another user to their photos by at mentioning them. The key difference is that tagging will now create an archive of photos that can be viewed on any user's profile, provided they've granted permission. This should offer far more notifications, alerts, and engagement opportunities to a passionate and young fan base. For brands, Nike could tag sponsored athletes like LeBron James, Tiger Woods, or Cristiano Ronaldo to drive follower accounts and foster more personal connections with fans. Pepsi could do the same with Beyonce. As you can see, athletes and celebrities are already promoting their sponsors, LeBron with Nike's Roche Run or Nicole Richie with Suave. With tagging, brands could make it easier to create contests or track people's affection for sponsored events. You can't advertise on Instagram yet, but marketers can take advantage of this tagging capability. Check out the article. Marketing in 2013, ads are only the beginning by Tessa Wiegert in Clixi. Online ad spending is slated to rise by 14% this year compared to 1.6% in traditional media. Online video and social media are growing by over 30% year over year, according to a study by Zenith Optimedia. While digital ads are the foundation for your digital marketing campaign, it is not enough to create the kind of engagement that truly connects consumers to their brand. Marketers need bonus content, like the following three. Number one, theatrical content. In addition to viral ads, Brands are creating videos, films, and microsites that entertain and inspire. Like this one by Evian's Let's Baby Dance. Make the longest video in the world. This one by Coca-Cola, Polar Bear Films 2013, produced by Ridley Scott. A really fun and informative kind of video. And Intel and Toshiba's web series, The Beauty Inside. Number two live Facebook and Twitter chats. Brands can align themselves with experts and their personas. For example, Pottery Barn invites customers through email and Facebook to live chat with interior designers and party planners. You can use Google Hangouts for this purpose as well. Number three, content-based contest. These are promoted with value-added content like Pepsi Next with its Wheel of Levy. This features amusing to romantic to silly videos featuring heartthrob William Levy and its ability to sample Pepsi Next. I'll tell you, it even got me to try. The bottom line question is to marketers, what bonus content are you creating to connect consumers to your brand? Check out the article. And now our segment, Cool Ideas of the Week. First, this article on social media marketing. Humanize your company by featuring employees on your Facebook page. Number two, create lists in Foursquare, like Travel Channel's Adam Richman and the list on places that he's visited for his show, Man vs. Food Nation. And number three, use Pinterest to get users to pin content related to your brand. From the B2B Metrics article, graph MQL or marketing qualified leads by channel against quantity and quality to better assess your lead gen efforts. For example, a webinar might get you greater quantity or a video-based demo might get you higher quality of leads. From the mobile article, a great study by Telmetrics and XAds using Nielsen panel data 
they found that 46% of consumers use mobile search exclusively for research, and a surprising 22% of mobile searchers go from start to finish in terms of completing purchases on their smartphones. From the Using Mobile for Customer Loyalty article, number one, build location-sensitive, time-specific, localized search apps, like this one from Addison Lee, where you can use the app to hail a London cab. The app uses the phone's GPS to find you, you can pay via the app, and it sends you a text while the cab's on its way. You can employ rewards, like this app from South African Insurer Discovery with its Discovery Vitality app, which gives you credit when you hit certain milestones or fitness goals. The credits can be used for health clubs, for healthy foods, or travel. From the SEO article and video by Matt Cutts, it's a real straightforward one on basic SEO mistakes that companies make, like focusing too much on link building versus content marketing, or not taking advantage of Google's webmaster resources. There are many ways for you to tell Google exactly how to find you and categorize you. Now there's this fun section on humor, where brands use Facebook to laugh at themselves like this one from Threadless, or this one from Foodler. Thank you for joining us this week. Hope you found the information to be really helpful. Please leave your comments below or contact us through one of the mechanisms on the side. Please subscribe for this video and share it with your friends. Look forward to seeing you next week.